folks. This is the third video I've shot today. Thanksgiving, by the way. Happy Thanksgiving. It's probably not now when you're watching this, but uh, hey, fuck it anyway. Um, I got to answer some questions. Uh, here's another one I had. Um, I had this in my inbox. I get this question quite a bit. Uh, not exactly this one, but um, things like it. And I can't answer this question. Um, this uh, this guy, Creamy Unicorn, Creamy Unicorn, spelled creamy like it is, U N I C O like the the number I believe, R N, Creamy Unicorn. Wow, dude, awesome name. He wants to. Uh, he has a couple Polk speakers. Uh, um, they're mids, I believe. He wants a mid amp and a sub amp. And uh, he actually asked. How many watts is good for how many watt? It, shit, let me talk right. How big of an amp should I get? Like how many watts of an amp should I get for a subwoofer? And he doesn't have the subwoofer yet. And I also have questions that come that says I have this subwoofer. You know, say I have a 300 watt subwoofer. What kind of amp should I get? And how many watts? You can't answer this question. I can't answer this question. Uh, actually, I just come around, come out wrong. You are the only one that can answer this question, not me. I can't tell you what brand to get. I can't tell you what size of an amp to get. Because I can sit here and tell you and say, get you a 300 watt amp to match with your 300 watt sub. Then what if you want to go bigger? What if you want a bigger subwoofer? Which you probably will. You put that in, you're like, man, I want to be bigger and louder. Well, then you have to get another subwoofer and you have to get another amplifier. So I usually tell people to get the biggest amp they can afford and just turn the gain down on it. This might not be the right answer, uh, but it's what I like to do. You also have to mat uh, match your ohms and stuff with your subs. I mean, if you have a a four ohm single voice coil subwoofer, then you need to look at uh, what amplifiers do at four ohms, not at you know one ohm, because you get a 3,000 watt amplifier mono block, and you have a four ohm subwoofer, you're not going to get 3,000 watts. Um, that's at one ohm, um, unless it's like a two ohm amp. I know it gets kind of confusing when it gets into ohms. Um, read ohms law. I don't get it, man. Ohm's Law is woo, out, off there, off the hook, crazy shit. But um, I can't I can't really tell you what amp to get. And people ask, what brands? What brand do I, amplifier do I get? Man, I can tell you what brands I like, but I can't tell you what brands you're going to like. I will tell you this. You buy a cheap amplifier, you're going to get cheap results. You take your ass... To, to Walmart, for example, Walmart has good amps. I ain't saying nothing bad about it. Sony explodes fine. You know, Pioneer, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But I'm saying, you know, you go pay 50 bucks for a, you know, 2,000 watt amplifier. It ain't happening, folks. You're not going to get that 2,000 watts out of it. You're not going to get it. You know, you, you look at another amplifier. Damn, this guy wants a. Uh, this guy wants five hundred dollars for a two thousand watt amp. I just seen a, uh, a two thousand watt amplifier for a hundred bucks. Why don't I get the hundred dollar one? Think about it. Think about it. You get what you pay for most of the time in car audio. That's just how it is. You know, it doesn't matter what the fuck the case says. If it says two thousand watts, doesn't mean it's going to do two thousand watts. If you get a two thousand watt amplifier for five hundred dollars and stick it in your car with factory electrical, you probably, you're probably still not going to get 2,000 watts. you got to have power to make power. you got to have those batteries. You need that alternator. I have a 6,500 watt Soundstream amplifier on one battery. Granted, it's a D3100 XS power, badass battery, but one battery, stock alternator, 60 or 80 amp alternator, I'm not getting 6,500 watts out of it. I have, you know, eight runs of zero gauge, still not getting 6,500 watts. Um, so, kind of in conclusion, I guess you could say, uh, you asked what amp should I get. I'm going to tell you what amps I like. I like Soundstream. 
Uh, I like uh, Sound Digital. I've never owned a Sound Digital because I can't afford them, but uh, they're pretty sweet. Sundowns. You got uh, audio cues. You got DC audio. Woo! DC is the shit. Um, you got, I mean, a bunch of them I can't even think of. Uh, Crossfire. Fucking, uh, Crescendo is big right now. I'd say they do pretty good. Uh, but you get um, cheap, not really cheaper ones. I'm not going to try to offend anybody. But, um, you know, say like Polk or, uh, you know, Sony. Sony's good. Don't get me wrong. Polk's good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you go out and buy a, a cheaper Lanzar. I'm not talking about the Opti, Opti series. Those are those are kind of sweet. Um, but the cheaper Lanzars, your, your, your piles, your legacies. You're not going to get rated wattage. I'm going to have people, I can hear it now, I can read the comments as I'm saying this. Hey, motherfucker, I got a legacy amplifier. I'm pushing 10,000 watts with this motherfucker. Whatever, man. Whatever. I, I like to stay hyper. I'm, I'm really not on drugs. I get I get random drug screens, but uh, it keeps people more... Uh, I, I don't like a boring monotone video. So, yeah, I am hyper in my videos. But, um, just saying... I don't know what amplifier to tell you to get. Um, this is probably going to be a, a response to a lot of questions that I get in the future to tell people to watch. I don't know what amplifier to get to tell you to get, uh, but remember, 99% of the time you get what you pay for in car audio. You buy the shit cheap, it's going to have cheap results, and it's not going to do what it says. Uh, subs are like amps. You buy a cheap subwoofer that says it does 1,000 watts, the fucking thing's gonna blow probably on 500 watts. It's gonna go up in smoke. You see a subwoofer, you're like, this subwoofer only does a thousand watts and he wants $300 for it? Is he crazy? No, he ain't crazy. The subwoofer's built to actually take that many watts. Think about it, people. I get these questions, this, these questions more than any more. More, more than any more. More than any other question. So that's why I finally had to make this video. Sorry I'm so scattered brain crazy but um, when I make videos I have uh, a lot of things going on I am hyper all the time I'm not on drugs people I drink beer and actually uh, like 90 percent of my videos I'm completely sober in because I was uh, on probation so uh, and I haven't had any beer today but I'm damn sure getting ready to um, but anyway sorry I'm so crazy and scattered brain on this video but um, I had a this guy asked me what amp to get, and I've seen this question come over and over and over on what amp and what sub to get. And now you know my uh, now you know my answer. Decide for yourself. Do some research. You know, go anywhere. Go to eBay. Go to audio forums. Down for sound. I mean, um, I'm big on car audio classifieds. I love that site. Um, but yeah, that's what amp to get. That's what sub to get. Feel free to write in the comments what your favorite sub or amp is or what your setup is. And, you know, read below. Tell me your results. How good are they? How many decibels are you doing sealed on the dash? I like sealed on the dash. I'm not a big mecha guy. Doors open. Fucking trunks flopping. Sealed on the dash is the gangster way. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, buddy.